We thank you, Heavenly Father God, and the saints are coming into the house of God. Hallelujah. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord so we can give praises unto you, Lord. Oh, Lord, have your way. Have your way in this house, glory to God. Use us, Holy Father God, that will surrender our will unto you. And we bless your holy name. We thank you, glory to God. We thank you that you would do it, Lord. Do it, Father. Do it, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, we bless your name, Father God. Bless our mothers, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Hallelujah, as they come into the house. Ah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for covering them. Thank you for keeping them, glory to God. And we bless your name. I pray for the uh, hallelujah, the praise and worship team. I cover them, glory to God, as they come forth to usher us into the power of your presence, Lord. Our musicians, glory to God. Bless them, Lord, that they keep serving you and doing your will, my holy Father God. Bless the ushers, glory to God. Hallelujah. They lead the people into the sanctuary. The doorkeeper, glory to God, for they are serving you, Lord. And we bless your holy name for it. We bless your name for them, Lord. Oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus, that you would keep having your way in us. Strengthen us, glory to God, in all that we do for you, Lord. Not our will, but thine will be done. And we give you praise for it, Lord. Keep, Lord, keep us faithful unto you, Lord. Keep us studying, uh, seeking after your face, Lord. Ah, Jesus, have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way in this house. Anoint our bishop. Hallelujah, that he will bring forth the word. Hallelujah, that will change lives. And we give you praises for it now, Lord. Ah, save us, your people. Glory to God. And we give praises unto you now. We thank you, glory to God. Hallelujah, as our next pastor will come forth. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Let the people of God say thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Can we give God a hand praise for the, the pastors that are, have went before me to give God glory this morning to, and to usher the spirit of the Lord into the house of God? i just like to thank God for everyone who's in the house. And I pray that everyone who can would stand with me now as we bow and officiate the service and begin our service at this point in prayer. If you are fellowshipping and communicating with one another, you're free to go down to the fellowship hall and continue that there. But at this time, we're going to honor the Lord and usher in his presence. Amen. Amen. Dear God, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for all that you've been doing in our lives, all that you're doing now, and all that we look forward to you doing in the future. Father, we're here believing in you and trusting in you. We take our comfort and our rest and our peace in you, O oh God. God, we understand you as our protector, our provider, and our keeper, O oh God. God, we are living in a wicked and ill, dark generation, God, where our children are being hurt, God, where women are being hurt, God, where men are lost without direction, God. But God, we thank you that you are the head of the church and that you have given us your spirit, O oh God, to call all things into order, to have reign, rule, and authority over all things in the earth, O oh God, that you may be exalted, that you may be lifted up, that you may be worshipped, and that you may be praised, O oh God. It's through us, Lord, that you exemplify your power. It's through us, Lord, that you manifest your grace and your love. So, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus as we operate in these vessels of flesh and that as we come under attack by the enemy, that you would strengthen us, God, that you would be our strength. Cause us to stand strong and to stand strong and firm on your word, believing and trusting everything that you said to be true and walking in faith and victory, overcoming the enemy as you have. 
Father, I pray that we would operate from a place of victory. It's more than conquerors. Going in victorious and coming out with the spoil, taking back everything that the enemy has taken from us. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for Calvary Temple Christian Center and all that you've done in this house, oh God, even from the beginning of the establishing of the leadership, oh God, according to your word, oh God, cleansing and then washing them by your word, sanctifying them and set up them apart for your purpose, filling them with your spirit to speak over your people. Father, we thank you, oh God, for the establishment that you have in this facility, in this building that we have to worship, give you honor, glory, and praise in. God, we thank you for the provision that you've given to pay each and every bill, God, in advance, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, that we are not a church in recession, oh God. But little do people know, Father, by your spirit you have allowed me to know, God, that everything is paid in full ahead of time, oh God. There is no lack, oh God. But we thank you, oh God, for those who are givers. We ask you to bless each and every giver, oh God, a hundredfold, oh God. Condition the hearts of the givers in the mighty name of Jesus to continue to support this ministry who is for the community who is establishing the community in spirit and in truth oh God father we thank you for Bishop John R. Thompson oh God and co-pastor Janice R. Thompson who are great and mighty leaders in the city of Bridgeport throughout the state of Connecticut and the United States in the world oh God father we thank you in the name of Jesus for giving them the authority to adorn, ordain those who are pastors here. And God, we thank you for raising up each and every leader in every respective place, oh God. The ministers, the evangelists, those who are prophetic, God. Those who are operating, God, as deaconess and deaconesses, oh God. Father, we thank you for those who are operating in the music ministry, in the music department, the worship and praise team, oh God. We thank you for the video, video and the audio, oh God. We thank you for those who are at the door, who are serving as ushers and security, the hospitality staff, oh God. Father, we thank you for the men's ministry and the women's ministry, oh God, the youth ministry, oh God. Hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus, the outreach ministry, the marriage ministry, God. God, we thank you for the order that takes place in this house, oh God, to provide for the needs of each and every individual that comes into the house. Father, we thank you for our elders, oh God, the mothers and the fathers of the church, oh God. Father, they are witnesses of your faithfulness, O oh God, and they are proof that you are keeping God. Father, we thank you for the longevity of their lives, O oh God, and the testimonies that they have to speak to us, O oh God. We thank you for their overseeing of us, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, and we pray that you will continue to bless them and keep them in good health. Father, I pray for the health and the strength of each and every individual in this house, O oh God. Father, I pray that healing would take place in the name of Jesus, that financial stress would be relieved, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that mental disorders and, and psychological confusion, God, that would cause people to not understand what you're doing in their lives. I pray for clarity of thought, oh God. I pray for the healing of the heart in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, that your good work may be done in them, oh God, that they may be raised up as lights in this dark and cold world. Hallelujah, to undo the works of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for healing, increase, overflow, and abundance. Bless the man of God in the name of Jesus that he would come and deliver the word of God with fire hallelujah holiness righteousness and truth oh God that each and every individual will receive the word of God from the mouth of the man of God in the mighty name of Jesus we pray amen amen good morning church I will be reading from Psalms 36 verses 5 through 10 Thy mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens, and thy faithfulness reacheth unto the clouds. Thy righteousness is like the great mountains. Thy judgments are great deep. O Lord, thou preservest man and beast. How excellent is thy loving kindness, O God. Therefore, the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house, and thou shalt make them drink of the river of thy pleasures. For with thee is the fountain of light, and thy light shall we see light. O continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee, 
and thy righteousness to the upright in heart. And the word of the Lord is already blessed. Come on, let's continue to give our God some praise on this morning. He is worthy to be praised. Come on, can you clap your hands? Can you give him the fruit of your lips on this morning? You, can you tell him thank you for his goodness? Come on, can you offer a sacrifice of praise Hallelujah. to our God on this morning? He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same. His name is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. So we enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise. We are thankful unto him and we have come to bless his name. Did anybody come to bless his name on this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. We've come to lift him up and we're just going to invite you to join in as we set the atmosphere for God to do something amazing in this place on this morning. Hallelujah. We just want you to join in with the praise and worship. Is that all right? Come on and clap your hands like this this morning.
what you want me to be. What you want me to be. Say more me, more me. What you want me to be. What you want me to be. Where you want me to go. Where you want me to go. What you want me to do. What you want me to do. When you want me to go. Where you want me to go. How you want me to go. Where you want me to go. Where you want me to do. What you want me to do. Where you want me to go. Where you want me to go. say yeah. willing to give him praise, glory, and honor, that's willing to lift up his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we praise him, we become encouraged. We become uplifted so that when we encounter challenging times, we know how to speak over our situations. Hallelujah. Nothing is too hard for God, and he won't fail. Hallelujah. And he's never lost the battle. Have you known him to lose in your life? He's a winner. With God, we have victory on today. Hallelujah. So we give him praise. Come on, can you just give him a wave offering this morning and tell him thank you for his goodness. Thank you for everything he's done in your life. Thank you for every way that he's made, every door that he's opened. Hallelujah. We give you glory, God. Over life. 
like a Jericho, and my walls are all crashing down. But right now, I know you're able, and my God, come through again. You can do all things. You can do all things, but fail, cause you never lost the battle. No, you never lost the battle. Oh, 
say it with me. You can do all things. Come on, somebody needs to be encouraged today that you God can, can do all do things but fail. All things but fail. Because you never lost the battle. No, you never lost the battle. Come on, can you give them a wave offering for just being God in your life, for always showing up when you need them most? Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, can you give him the fruit of your lips on this morning? Because he's a God that never fails. He's a God that shows up. He'll never leave you hopeless. He'll never leave you lonely. He's never lost the battle. And he never will. God is the greatest power. And because he is the greatest power, he cannot be defeated. Come on, can you clap your hands and give him praise for that today? Hallelujah, Jesus. I don't know about you, but I'm happy in my spirit. Because when it looks like I'm defeated, all I have to do is remind myself that God can do all things. God. but fail because you know things come up and things look bad sometimes and it looks like it's not going to work out for our good but the bible tells us all things are working together for our good and i tried to stay away from it but i just can't my heart is so old school and every time i sing this song it just reminds me that we should have faith in god we should have faith in him. I know sometimes it gets hard and it gets rough to believe, but we got to have faith in him. And it takes me back to this old school song we used to sing when I was growing up that says, have faith in God. Have faith in God. on today. Come on and clap your hands for our God. Glory to God. What a mighty God we serve. And he is worthy to be praised. We just want to take this time to welcome the presence of the Lord in this place on today. We thank God for his presence, for his spirit, for his son Jesus on this morning. And we thank God for you on today. Thank you that you have joined us in our worship service. It's wonderful to see your faces on this morning. I pray that you are blessed and living in the abundance of God. Amen. We just want to take this time out to welcome 
you on this morning. And if by chance we have any first time visitors, we want to take this time to welcome you. If you're visiting with us for the first time, we're going to ask that you would stand on your feet at this time. We just want to welcome you. We're not going to ask you to say anything. God bless you. Please remain standing. Our ushers have a token of appreciation for you joining us. God bless you in our worship service on this morning. On behalf of our senior pastor, Bishop John R. Thompson Sr., and our lovely co-pastor, Lady Janice R. Thompson, and the Calvary Temple Christian Center, we want to take this time to welcome you and thank you for stopping by and joining for us in our worship service on today. We pray that you are blessed, that you would enjoy the service, that you will receive everything that God has for you, and most of all, that you would experience Calvary for yourself. Come on and let's give our in-person visitors a hand on this morning. Thank you for joining us. To our live stream audience, we want to take this time to welcome you on this morning. Those who may be returning viewers and those who may be visiting for the very first time, we want to say welcome to you also. Thank you for taking the time to stop by and view with us on today. On behalf of our senior pastor, Bishop John R. Thompson Sr. and our lovely co-pastor, Lady Janice R. Thompson and the Calvary Temple Christian Center, we want to say welcome. We pray that you would enjoy the Lord, that you would receive everything that he has for you, and that you too would experience Calvary for yourself. Come on and let's give our visitors online a hand on this morning. We thank God for our visitors. We're always so happy when you join us in our service. Amen. It means that the vision is coming to pass. Amen. We invite, we embrace. God empowers and we serve. Amen. We give God glory on this morning. And at this time, we're preparing our hearts for our announcements. Amen. Amen. Our weekly announcements for Sunday, April 14th. Monday through Friday is our morning glory prayer on the prayer line from 6 a.m. to 6.15 a.m. Monday evening prayer on the prayer line from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Tuesday evening men's call to prayer on the prayer line at 7 p.m. Wednesday evenings prayer in the sanctuary from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. And Wednesday empowerment Bible class starts at 7 p.m. Thursday evening prayer with the, with the bishop via Bishop's Facebook Live and on the prayer line from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Sunday, we have CED classes from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Amen. And we invite you to come out and join us in our CED classes. Amen. We are learning some good things. Amen. Things that will keep you empowered and inspired. Amen. Our Sunday divine worship begins at 1130 a.m. Upcoming events. Tomorrow, man talk at 7 p.m. Wednesday is Bishop's birthday celebration begins here in the temple with our guest speaker, Pastor Alan Burroughs from Boston, Massachusetts at 7 p.m. And we're asking that as we're beginning our celebration services for our bishop that you please come out and support. Amen. This is about showing him love. Amen. So we start our celebration for him on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. This Thursday will be our Women of Worship meeting at 6.30 p.m. If you're not otherwise engaged, please come out and share with us. And this Friday is our Bishop's 65th birthday celebration dinner. Amen. Which will be held at the Rain in Milford, Connecticut. Amen. From seven, yep, that's all right, come on. You can stand and give him a standing ovation, amen. 65th birthday celebration. Amen. We appreciate our bishop, and we want him to know we appreciate him and that we love him. And I'm not going to stop saying it. We have the baddest bishop in Bridgeport. Amen. I thought about it, too. I could go ahead and say we have the baddest bishop in Connecticut. I don't care about everybody else, pastor. I know about my pastor. Amen. Amen. We got the baddest bishop. Amen. So we're going to be celebrating him Friday night 
at the Rain in Milford, Connecticut from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m., formal to semi-formal attire. And this, we want to let you know that upon arrival at the venue, you will check in at the desk. There will be reserved guest seating, and those people will be being escorted to their seats because there is there are special guests and there is reserved seating for them. Amen. And for all other guests, we want you to be able to come in and seat yourselves at the open tables. Amen. So when you come in, you can check in at the, the desk. And once you go in, if the table is open, you can find a seat there and sit down anywhere you like that's not reserved. Amen. We just don't want anybody to be confused when they come in and not sure where to go. So we want to let you know in advance that if, um, if the table is reserved, that means it's for a special guest. If it's an open table, you have access to sit there. Amen? Amen. Um, dinner will be served buffet style with table numbers being called up sequentially for service. Dessert in the form of cake will be served immediately after dinner. Please note that there will be another party concurrently on the opposite side of the venue. So we want to make sure that we stay on our side. We're not mingling into other areas. Amen. And that we just follow all the directions as they're given unto us. Amen. We want to go out and show people we know how to act. Amen. Amen. So if, you, if there's anything, any questions, any concerns, amen, while you're there, just find someone that might be able to assist you and help you. We don't want to have, you know, any issues or concerns. We want to go through this flawlessly and celebrate our bishop and show off who he has taught us to be. Amen. 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 And our last announcement is that on Sunday, April 25th, tw 25th, we will be concluding our bishop's 65th birthday celebration here at the temple. And our guest speaker will be Bishop Richard Stockton from New York. And service will begin at 1130 as normal. Amen. So we want to make sure you have all of these upcoming events on your calendar. If you can't make it to the dinner and you want to be a blessing to our bishop, you can give him a love offering. Amen. We talked about this, all right? We want to bless our bishop. We want to be a blessing to him. I pray that you have thought about sacrificing something so that we can be a blessing to the man of God because he blesses us continually without fail. Amen. And we want to show him that we appreciate him and that we love him. Um, if you're not able to make it to the, to the birthday dinner, we have the two services coming up this week on Wednesday night and then on Sunday. So we're asking that you would plan to come out and show your love to him on those days. Amen? Amen. We ask that you keep all announcements in mind and follow them accordingly. And if there's anything that you missed, it will be at the information desk and you can find it there. Amen? Amen. Come on and clap your hands and give God some praise on this morning. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to ask that you would rest on your feet. We're getting ready to prepare our hearts to give. Amen. It's time for our tithe and offering. And we're getting ready to receive our co-pastor and the person of First Lady Janice R. Thompson. Come on and clap your hands and receive her as she comes at this time. Thank you, Pastor. Somebody give God a wave offering. Yes, tell him thank you. Amen. Isn't it good to be alive? It's good to be in the house of the Lord. He's been good to us, hasn't he? In the midst of everything that is going on in the world, could you just tell God something special this morning because you're alive? Tell him thank you for keeping your children. You got up this morning, clothes in your right mind. Amen. You're able to dress yourself. Isn't that a blessing? Glory to God. I'm so thankful on this morning. I praise God for all your beautiful faces in the house of the Lord. I'm excited about Bishop's 65th birthday. Amen. We made the tickets amenable so that you could come. You don't hardly go to any bishop's birthday dinner without paying like $125. And I was telling the young lady who we orchestrated with um, what the prices were. And she was like, what? because we're running even into more finances, trying to get the photo booth there for you so you can get your digital copies of your photos and the DJ. We're just gonna have a good time, aren't we? And I hope that you all come with the light spirit so that you can enjoy, amen. I'm trusting God that we will make his heart glad. And what's more important is that you're gonna be there. And I'm so glad that you're gonna be there. And if you didn't get a ticket and you can't come to the dinner, just make sure you come to the services. That's how you show people you love them. 
when we were coming through ministry, a lot of days we would come to service and be celebrating. And because people didn't have money, they stayed home. But they didn't realize that their presence meant more to us than them staying home. Do you know what that feels like to come into a house of God and they're celebrating you and nobody's there? So come on out and let's celebrate our bishop. Amen. Um, they say that, well, the scripture says a prophet is not without honor except in his own country. But we want him to be celebrated right here at home. That's why we made those tickets so low and amenable for you all to come. So let's celebrate him at home. Those who are watching online, we know that you love our bishop. But love is what it does. How many know that? Anybody ever told you they love you but they ain't do nothing to prove it? How can you really know that they love you when they're just saying some words? They know how to rap. They know how to say all the nice words that make you feel all weak in your stomach. But them, I ain't going to call them what they are. They ain't doing nothing. And sometimes women do it too. You know, men get upset when we talk about it. But sometimes women do it too. You know, they throw out all kind of flirtatious things. And then later on, they don't want to be involved with you. But love is what it does. So if you're watching, you say Calvary is your church. We don't know that unless you come on out. So we want you to come on out. We invite those who are watching. We always thank our online members that are out of town. But those that are in town and they just don't come, we want you to know we need you here in the building because being around us is going to strengthen you. Amen. In unity, the Bible says there is what? In unity, there is strength. Amen. It's time to give in the house of the Lord. Malachi 3 and 8. Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me, but you want to know, how have you robbed him? In tithes and offerings. Ye are cursed with the curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. I'm going to stop there, because some people are like, I'm not cursed, and I don't tithe. I just give something what I can afford. But you all, it's really not good if you want God to bless you, and you're not giving him 10% of what you're getting. You can do what you want to do, but I'm telling you how God has blessed me. And it is not, not a good thing. Yes, he has. It's not a good thing to teach tithing without budgeting. Because a lot of times you don't have finances because you don't budget your money. But y'all know we do what we want to do with our money. And you can continue to do it. But if you want your children to be blessed, give them to God. If you want your life to be blessed, give it to God. If you want your finances to be blessed, I am a guaranteed witness that God will bless what you give back to him. If you transfer it into the kingdom, how many know he turns it around and he does things for you that money can't do? You hear me? So every hundred dollars that I make, I put my ten dollars there for the Lord. And I give him heaping offerings. And I'm telling you, he's getting ready to blow our minds. I've been looking at some of our investments and God has just been increasing and blessing. And I'm looking forward, even with the blessings and the, the um, investments that we have, that Bishop is going to end up having a new car because his car is down right now. So I said, you know what, honey, we could take away some of our investments and buy you another car. So the Lord is blessing you all. And I don't say that because we want your money. I say that because I want to see you blessed. A lot of churches you go to, they ask for offering after offering after offering. Mostly when you come here, we do it one time. Unless we have a guest preacher and we might need a little bit more to bless the man of God. But you all know we don't really concentrate on finances. We concentrate on living a good life for the Lord. And the man of God has preached the word down through the years. People come. People go, but how many know Calvary is the place to be? Amen. So I don't want to weary you. I just want you to know that the Lord is changing lives here. You hear me? And it's more important that your life is changed. If you never tithe, that don't mean you're going to hell. But I want you to learn to budget your finances, to give God what belongs to him. And I guarantee you, he will bless you. He will bless you in a way that you never thought of. Amen. The other, I'm sorry. I Maybe I, my microphone is up. Okay, I'll keep talking. Amen. The ushers are going to lead you out at this time, and they're going to let you come from the rear. It's so good to see we got new usher on the floor. <laughs> Amen. And if you desire to join the usher team, please see our president of the usher board. That is Sister Judy. She's leading our newest usher out. We would love for you to think about joining different departments in the ministry, and we'll let you know what you need to do in order to do that. Thank you for your liberal giving. Thank you, online pastors. Craddock and Pastor Davis and Deacon John Davis. We thank God for you, Crystal Harris, those who are out of town, but they support the ministry, and those that we don't know that sow into this ministry. We thank God for you. Amen. Thank you so kindly for your liberal giving. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Just want to thank you forever and ever and ever, Lord, for all you've done for me. 
blessings and glory and honor. They all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. Yes, I just want to thank you for You've done for me blessings and glory and honor. and honor. They all belong to you. Deacon is Janine Drawn is in the back if you desire to swipe your credit card. Amen. She can assist you with swiping or tapping your credit card if you desire. In me, everybody lift your voice and say, I just want to bless you. Just want to thank you. Forever and ever, uh huh, and ever over all, you've done for me blessings and glory and honor. They all belong to you. They belong. When I see Father Polite in the house of the Lord, I know God has been good. Glory to God. And we're trusting him for healing for Pastor Payton and Sister Lisa and Minister Ty. Oh God, and we're praying for Minister Starr in Virginia, trusting God for healing. Lord, we thank you for blessing me. to come and she's going to pray over the offering. Thank you for your liberal giving. We love you all. God bless you. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you for these gifts that have been given on today. We ask that you would bless them, multiply them 30, 60, and 100 fold. We pray for increase and overflow, oh God, as your people have given unto you. God, we even pray for those that wanted to give and didn't have to give, God, that they may be able to give the next time. And God, we pray that you would bless them in the abundance, God, that they never lack anything again. God, we pray that you would bless these gifts, that they would be used for the upbuilding of your kingdom. God, that you may continue to be glorified and lifted up. And Father, we say thank you for doing it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on and say amen. 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 We're getting ready for the most important part of the service at this time, which is a word from the Lord. Amen. You believe there's a word from the Lord on today for you? Amen. We're going to ask if everyone would please. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. I apologize. Please, you, please take your seats at this time. I forgot. Thank you so much for reminding me. We actually have um, right hand of fellowship. I apologize. We have a right hand of fellowship. And um, this young lady has been waiting to be fellowshiped into the congregation. And we want to make sure we do that for her on today. Amen. And so we're going to ask. Um, Joyesha. Amen. If she will come at this time. And her daughter. Amen. And we're going to ask our bishop and our co-pastor to come at this time as well. If you can stand right here. Amen. Give the Lord a praise all over this house. He is worthy of praise and glory and honor. And we bless him for his kindness and for his grace. God has been so good to us in that he continues to add to the church daily such, such as should be saved. And we do thank him for adding to our numbers. We're so thankful for the blessings of the Lord. Just smile at somebody and tell them, I'm glad to see you in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. We're thankful that God is adding to our membership. 
The membership is growing and God is being blessed. And today, I'm sorry, something is going on with the system. I know what it is. It's just the enemy acting up. But God is still going to be glorified. God is still going to be glorified. Amen. And we'll, we'll take care of it. Trust me, we'll take care of it. But we want to add... taking care of that we're going to have my wife read our opening statement and scripture for uh, the membership adding uh, joy joyisha yeah, to our, to our <laughs> and what's her little daughter name Nigel. Nigel. we would like to make a membership certificate for her too because by virtue of her mom she's going to be grandfather amen, amen. <laughs> Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, nor fade, kept in heaven for you who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of salvation that is ready to be revealed in this last time. That's first Peter chapter 1, verses 3 through 5. Sister Joy, we rejoice in your expression to, and your desire to unite yourself with us in this relationship. Because you have witnessed a good confession of faith, you're already one with the redeemed people of God of all generations. By uniting with this church, you enjoy all of its crucial privileges and various responsibilities. It is our obligation to uphold the testimony before you and that you may receive the message and the messages of God and to pray for its success, to give to its support and to attend its services, thus strengthening the ministry in love, in labor and sacrifice to prosper its work and to encourage its leaders and bring daily growth and enrichment into all its affairs. Always walk worthy of the name of Christ and his church, avoiding every kind of evil. Love as brothers and sisters and hold those who are over you in the Lord in highest regard because of their work. Congregation, I speak to you now. Beloved, in receiving uh, our sister Joy and her family into our fellowship, we do enter a solemn covenant and obligation. Let them never find an occasion to be ashamed of any of us or disappointed by our lives or testimony. May they ever find this house of God a place of spiritual enrichment, encouragement, and refuge. We should always be ready to receive them as brothers and sisters in Christ, to bear their burdens and the love of Christ, and to share with them the deepest needs of life. All that the word of God has led them to expect to find among the redeemed should be found here at Calvary Temple Christian Center. We shall, by the grace of God, in receiving them into our fellowship, pledge to them in like manner as we have required them to pledge to us a consistent with godly lifestyle. May our communion be sweet and our joy be full. At this time, we're going to have our prayer of dedication, Pastor Parker.
Father, in the name of Jesus, we now give you thanks with our heart for this. Thank you all. God bless. Glory to God. Thank you all for your patience as we're working on it. I don't know if anyone has ever touched the speaker stuff over there. It just went off. Okay. We'll get it right. We'll get it right. Enough for today. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Come on and let's give God a hand praise.
you, Father. Glory to God. Glory, glory. Wonderful Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Glory to your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. If some brothers would go with my son, if some brothers would go with my son and bring up the temporary one, don't bring up the, the, the board. You can't. I mean, just put up, son, this is what I'm saying. Just put up the temporary speakers and that little head. You understand what I'm saying? Come on, bless him. Come on, bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Don't worry, son. Don't worry about it. Listen. Listen. I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something why this is happening. Come on, listen. Listen a quick second. Two, two weeks ago, um, I was in prayer, and in my prayer, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said to me that it's time to walk into a new portal. And in this portal, I want you to begin to grow the congregation up to a place of kingdom. And you all know I've been talking about kingdom, kingdom, kingdom. And he said, in this, in here, it's going to be, everything's going to be positive in growth. And so I started praying along those lines. And I don't know if you all can sense that in my prayer, it has been different. I don't know if you noticed that or not. But every time I was praying, before I would intercede, 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 intercede. But then, when the Holy Spirit told me this, I began to pray kingdom, 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 kingdom. And because I did that, the next day, my car broke down. And I haven't had a car since. Anyway, the enemy was trying to frustrate me to go back to what I was doing. And that is just continue to intercede, intercede, intercede. See, when you're, in, when you're into intercession, what you're doing is you're moving in the kingdom and you're, mo and you're making headway into the kingdom. However, you're still dealing with some things that are negative. I need you to understand that. My sickness, my headache, my problem, my children, so forth and so on. See, your focus is you, 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 you. But when you start praying kingdom, all of a sudden your focus is no longer on your problem. It's on your growth. You, are you getting this? It's on your growth. And so 
I've been asked, having the guy come over to my house. Come on, fix, fix the car, fix the car. And nothing is working. I mean, nothing yes. is working. Day after day, nothing is working. Can't get the car to go to, to save my life. It's just, it just messed up. Anyway, um, I said, enemy is trying to get me to go back to where I came from out of frustration. And I'm not going to do that. And so it's been, it's been a week and a half now that I've been dealing with this. And so because I refuse to go back to that, now this, this system. But listen, listen, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Because tomorrow morning I'll head to wherever, Guitar Center or whatever, and get new stuff. That, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. That's the least of our worries. But today's message, I wish you can get what I'm saying. Today's message, I don't know who was here for Wednesday night Bible class, but today's message is going to build on what we did on Wednesday night. And the enemy don't want it to happen. But I wish I had some folk in here who would give God a praise. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Here we go. Just open your mouth and say, thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Come on, open your mouth and say, thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Say, thy will be done. Thy will be done. In earth. In earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in come heaven. on, say, thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. In earth. In earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Now give God a praise. Oh, come on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to know that the enemy is already defeated. He's already defeated. I want to tell you something. Everything, this is what the Lord has been showing me. Everything that we need has already been supplied. Everything Everything, everything, everything. Come on, tell two or three people around you, everything you need everything is you already, need. Supplied. already supplied. Everything you need is everything already, you supplied. Need. already supplied. You don't, listen, all you need to do is give God thanks for it. Hallelujah. Just give him thanks for it. Give him Glory. thanks for it. Give him thanks for it. Give him thanks for it. Paul said, all things are ours. Paul said, all things are ours. He says, stop arguing over who's the best preacher and, 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 and whether or not this one is more effective than the other. He said, all things are ours. Everything that we need is ours. But if we focus on what we don't have, then the enemy wins. But when you focus on what God has already supplied, it's already done. Come on, give God a praise. It's already done. Can you, can you, no, can you change that? Do a little bit of it's already done. Can we do that? I was going to sing something else, but do a little bit of it's already done. It's done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's working so far, so give God a praise. Come on, come on.
Somebody give them a wave offering. Come on. Him all over this house. Hallelujah. Woo. I need you to find somebody and tell them it's already done. Come on, cross the aisle. Tell somebody it's already done. done. What you believe God done. for, done. what you're trusting Him for, done. your growth, your anointing, done. your ministry, done. that done. open door. Done. That opportunity. It's already done. 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 It's already done. It's already done. Say done. 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 It's already done. It's already done. Say done. 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 It's already done. It's already done. Stop! 
Come on, bless him all over this house. Somebody scream in this place. I need you to get this. Come on, tell two or three people, say what's coming is better than what was. Come on, tell, tell somebody next to you, what's coming is better than what was. Oh yes, it's coming, it's coming, it's here. It's here, his kingdom is here. His kingdom is here. Lift your hands all over this house. Oh, the enemy don't like this. <laughs> but he's already defeated. Woo, he's already defeated. Cynthia, put up the words to the anthem, please. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. How many know he's already won the victory? Death cannot hold you down. Come on, everybody lift your voice and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all. You have won it all. You are the risen king. You are the risen king. Seated in majesty. Seated in majesty. You are the risen king. You are the risen king. Come on, say hallelujah. 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 You have won. Have won the victory. Come on, say hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death, death could not hold you down. You are the risen king. You are the risen. You're seated, seated in majesty. You are the risen king. You are the risen king. One more time. Say hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've won it all. You have won it all for me. Death. Death could not hold you down. Come on, somebody talk to him and tell him. You are the risen king. Seated. Seated in man. You are the risen King. Come on, say death could not hold you. Hallelujah. You are the risen King. Seated in majesty. 
you are, you are the risen King. Woo! Seated in majesty, you are, you are the risen King. One more time, say death could not hold you. It could not hold you. It could not hold you down. You are the risen King. Glory, glory, seated. Seated in majesty. You are. You are the risen King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. it all you have won it all for me hallelujah hallelujah you have won the victory come on give him a wave offering all over this house hallelujah hallelujah you've won it all you have won it all for me. Come on, everybody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. the music come on everybody say feel the atmosphere hallelujah you have won the victory thank you jesus hallelujah you've won it all you have won it all for me Hallelujah, hallelujah, you have won the victory, hallelujah, you have won it all for me. Somebody bless them all over this house. Thank you, worship leaders. There's a spirit of worship in this place. Hallelujah. There's a spirit of worship in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Are you a Johnson? Is your last name Johnson? You got a brother named Bernard? You look just like him, or he looks like you. I went to school with him. I want to pray for you before you leave. Is that all right?
Come on, say it. What, what he's done for me. Come on, you say it's so, so amazing. amazing. The love. The love he has for me. I, I cannot explain. explain. Come on, say. Amazing love. Lift your hands and say amazing love. Amazing love. Amazing love. Amazing love. Do that again. Say amazing love. Amazing love. Amazing love, amazing love, amazing love. Do it again, do it again. Say amazing love, amazing love, amazing love. Amazing love, amazing love, all I know is I once was lost, but now I'm found, I was blind, but now I see. You say it. And I know he will do for you what he's done for me. Come on, say. And I know he will do for you what he's done for me. Come on, tell your neighbor. Say, neighbor. And I know he will do for you. Done for me, and I know, and I know He will do for you what He's done for me. Come on, say it again. And I know He will do for you what He's done for me. One last time, come on, and I know. What 
Can I do something very quickly? Can I get some brothers just to walk the aisle? Just the men, just walk the aisle. If you're not ashamed to worship as a man, just walk the aisle and let every man in here know. And I know he will do for you what he's done for me. Come on, every man, let a man know. And I know he will do for you what he's done for me. Come on, let them know it's cool to worship. Let the men know. Let the men know it's cool to worship. What he's done for me. And I know he will do for you what he's done for me. And I know he will do for you what he's done for me. Thank you, brother, and thank you. And I know he will do for you what he's done for me. And I know he will do for you what he's done for me. One last time, and I know he will do for you what he's done for me. Come on, give God a praise for the men. Give God praise for men who worship. Brother Steve, brother, pastor, person, maybe we need to change our model to men who worship, M-W-W, men who worship. Is that all right? It's cool to worship. Ain't it? It's cool to worship. It's cool to worship. I don't want the men to think we soft because we worship. No, we ain't soft. We just love the Lord. Somebody say something to me. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If men can shout at the football game, and if men can shout at the basketball game, then they can shout for the Lord. Oh God, the enemy has been trying to stop your praise. But I had a bishop call me this week Last week, actually, he called me and said, Bishop, he said, I was trying to get you on my phone. I was trying to call you, but when I tried to call you, somebody distracted me. He said, I need you to come preach for me. And I said, I said, so what's the problem? He said, I was trying to call you, but when I tried to call you, somebody distracted me. And I didn't realize that I put my phone on top of my car. He said, and so I was looking for my phone. I couldn't find it anywhere. He said, but, but, but I went ahead and I said, I'll just call him when I get home. And, and he still couldn't find his phone, but when he got on the highway, he heard something fly. And it was his phone. He said it went up in the air and came down on the highway and it broke into pieces. He said, so he went all the way around two miles, two miles, and he came back and he parked to where he thought his phone was on the highway. And he said he waited until there was no cars coming. He ran out there and got his phone and came back and looked at it and it was all smashed 
and it was all broken and it was all cracked. He said, but when he pushed the button, it still worked. Look at your neighbor and say, I've been smashed and I've been, oh my God, I've been broke, I've been smashed, I've been up in the air and I've been down, but I pushed the button and I know that my praise My praise still works. My praise still works. My praise. My praise still works. I wish you would find two or three people and tell them I've been through hell, but my praise still works. I almost lost my mind, but my praise still works. Come on, help me say, been praying for a long time. Cause he promised me he would be with me. Been praying for a long time. I ain't gonna give up. Cause he promised me he would be with me. Been praying for a long time. I ain't gonna give up. Cause he promised me he would be with me. Been praying for a long time. I ain't gonna give up. Cause he promised me he would be with me. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. I might not have a car, but I still got my praise. Oh, I wish I had some real folk in here. Look at your neighbor and say, I might not have a husband, but I still got a praise. I might not have my child, but I still got my praise. I might not have no money, but I still got my praise. I might be abandoned, but I still got my praise. I ain't gonna let not having a car, such a small thing, stop me from giving my God the praise. God has been too good to me for me to be upset over something so small. Look at your neighbor and tell him I still got my praise. And I ain't gonna let you walking out on me stop me from giving my God the glory. Stop, son, I gotta get them, I gotta get you out. Somebody open your mouth and say, I am kingdom. Come on, say, I am kingdom. Everything that I have, everything that I am, I am kingdom. I am the mouth of God. I am the compassion of God. I am his pity and his grace. I am his mercy. I am his ambassadors. I am his love. I am the kingdom of God. 
Come on, have your seats. I got to get you out of here. I am the kingdom of God. Revelation comes through me. Strength comes through me. Anointing works on my behalf. I am the kingdom of God. Somebody open your mouth and say, I am the kingdom of God. I want you to understand don't worry about that sound because if, if I don't have it working, I'll talk to you for a few minutes. Don't worry about that. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Before they turn that off, let me tell you something. The Lord spoke to me while I was studying this text. And the Lord told me to tell everybody in this ministry, whether they're online or in this house, no one will die in this ministry before your time. I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know who that word is for. But no one in this house will die before your time. Sickness is not going to take you out. Disease is not going to take you out. Fear is not going to take you out. What the doctor said is not going to take you out. You will not die. God has given everybody in here at least 70 years. I wish I can talk to somebody. He has given everybody in here at least 70 years. You are not going to die before your time. Get your Bibles just for a few seconds. You all know I love you. To our leadership, God bless you. To everyone in your respective places, God bless you. I don't want this thing to go out on me again, so I'm going to rush through this. But just before I do that, can I honor the most beautiful woman in the entire world? Let me give God praise for my wife. I love her so much. Thank you, baby. Thank you. She's just so amazing. Thank God for her. Look at Look at uh, Isaiah 40, and I also want you to look at Matthew 5 to all of our pastors, all of our leadership. Don't worry about that. Don't worry. We, we moving forward. The devil is already defeated. Amen. <laughs> Trying to mess stuff up. Anytime God's getting ready to bless you, something bad comes along. You better know that God is getting ready to bless you. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Amen. Be careful of what's going on around you. I don't know if you heard that they're trying to bomb Israel. And listen, somebody say the time clock is clicking. It's just ticking and clicking, and it's almost time to get out of here. I'm trying to tell you, get ready. Get ready. Look at somebody and tell them, get ready to leave this place. Get ready to leave this place. Get ready for what God is getting ready to do. Get ready. Just get ready. Be prepared. Be prepared. Get ready and stay ready. Get ready and stay ready. Isaiah 40, 28. Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of earth, fainteth not, neither is he weary, neither is searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. The young men shall utterly fall, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Can we say amen? Matthew 5, 13. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt is lost its savior, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and trodden under the foot of men. Ye are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it on a bushel but on a candlestick and give a light to all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good work. Glorify the Father which is in heaven. Can we say amen? Tap somebody and tell them the influencers are here. Come on, have your seats. The influencers are here. The only bird that dares to peek, peck at an eagle's neck is the crow. When the eagle is at a low altitude, the crow sits on its back and begins to bite on its neck. 
Crow does not attempt to shake it off or fight it. It does not spend time or energy on such a small nuisance. Instead, it just opens its wings and fly high into the sky. Higher and higher it ascends. It, it flies so high until it's harder for the crow to breathe and to hold on. Until eventually the crow falls off and due to the lacks of oxygen, it's only there to have a ride for a certain period of time, but it soon falls off. Don't succumb to the petty distractions that try to distract you from ascending to where God wants you to be. Keep your focus and keep rising high because the higher you go, the will of God is going to be done in your life. I would submit to you this morning that 85 to 90 percent of the believers who's on this journey thus far has been spending time fighting distractions and crows. Rather than knowing and understanding and walking in the knowledge of who God has made us, we're spending time fighting crows that peck on our necks. Our very presence as kingdom ambassadors and abilities at, as influencers globally and communally wise are so extraordinary that if the believer would tap into who you are, it would change our lives forever. Even with all the small distractions of fighting crows, there is still being something accomplished in you that the kingdom needs you to understand. While you're fighting the distractions, namely the crows of personal battles, while you're fighting the distractions, namely the crows of the pandemic, while you're fighting the distractions, namely crows of the shutdown, while you're fighting distractions, namely the crows of surviving your mistakes, while you're fighting the distractions, namely the crows of your weaknesses and failures, waiting on God and disappointments, heartbreak and struggles, setbacks and setups, and almost to the point where you have breakdown and fainting in God, there is something also happening in you that the enemy don't want you to see. God is calling and pulling us and encouraging us and urging us to ascend to another level in him. I want you to understand that the more you go through, the more effective your praise is. The greater the increase of your strength will come when you overcome and focus on ascending rather than the distraction. Your hope is being so passionately cleared until the enemy don't want you to see what's going on. Your anointing is destroying more yokes than it ever destroyed in all your existence. Your joy is so infectious until people look at you and rejoice for the fact that you're still holding on. The family is getting, your family is getting closer to God. Your vision is being sharpened and your favor is being surrounded by the blessings that you believe God for. God is using your love for him and your love for humanity to change your life. The peace of God that fills your mind is so filled with therapeutic qualities until you bless God and don't even realize the peace is in your heart. Your friends are praying more earnestly for you than they ever prayed before. The power of your influence is greater than you realize. The blessings of God is abundant in grace and in greater than you've ever seen. Your self-worth is now being sharpened to the point where you realize that God has brought you further than he's ever brought you. I want you to understand that 
You need to understand who you are. Tap yourself and say, I understand who I am. Not only do you understand who you are, but you also understand whose you are. You're about to see more revelation than you've ever seen. You're about to receive more impartations and inspiration than you ever have before. Your understanding will come to you more clearer. The utterances that come from the Holy Ghost will be so sharpened until this portal of grace that you're walking into is filled with the favor of God than you've ever seen before. I want you to understand that you cannot be distracted by buzzards. And you cannot be distracted by crows. You cannot be distracted by seagulls or pigeons. You must be an eagle of influence because God has brought you to the kingdom for such a time as this. Lay your hands on yourself and say, I am an agent of change. What this simply means then is God is causing change to take place through you and for you, the more you understand who you are, everything you touch surrounds you will be changed. I need you to understand this. And the enemy don't want you to get this message. He wants you to focus in on the negative. He wants you to focus in on the lack. He wants you to focus in on your mistakes. He wants you to focus in on your weakness and your personal battles. But I'm here to tell you today that if you would focus in on your anointing, and see what God is doing in you. I want you to understand something. In this ministry, we have a vision team meeting uh, every quarter. And in this vision team meeting, we discuss and we plan events uh, uh, three and six months ahead of time. We sit down and we discuss what we're going to do six months ahead of time, sometimes eight months ahead of time, what we're going to be doing in the ministry. And we try to sharpen those things. This is the same thing you do in prayer and you don't realize it. When you step into your prayer closet, you're praying about encounters four months from now. And you're praying about situations 30 days from now. And you're praying about your children two weeks from now that God will give victory. But the enemy don't want you to see this. The more he can get you to focus in on what you don't have and who you don't know and what you have not accomplished that, then he will keep you in a negative mindset. But I'm here to tell you that every negative mindset that you've been dealing with is now broken. Somebody open your mouth and say it's broken in me. This is why the Bible says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Somebody reach up and pull down every stronghold in your spirit. Come on, reach up and pull down every stronghold in your mind. Reach up and pull down every stronghold of self-worth, every stronghold of self-battles, personal battles, negative. Pull it down and pull it down in the name of Jesus. Now give God the praise. That's why he says casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought into the obedience of Christ. I want you to know that every thought <coughs> Excuse me, every thought that's trying to hinder you and every thought that's trying to block you is already defeated in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord spoke to Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter number one, and he said, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. See, when you walk into your prayer closet and you begin to intercede that's one level when you walk into your prayer closet and you begin to decree and declare and you begin to command I'm here to tell you that that is another level God wants us to be dimensionalist and 
begin to pray for those things that have not happened yet. Look at somebody and tell them, pray for some stuff that has not happened yet. I'm already speaking new car. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I'm already speaking my granddaughter anointed. I'm already, oh my God, I'm already speaking your family member saved. I'm already speaking a new house for you. I'm already speaking some husbands and some wives in this house. I'm already speaking financial blessings in this place. Look at somebody and tell them you got to speak what has not happened yet. Calling those things that be not as though they are because the power of God is in your mouth and you've got it in your mouth. Somebody open your mouth and say it's in my mouth. It's nigh in my mouth. All you've got to do is speak it. I need you to get this because uh, the power that you operate in is amazing. Uh, and the enemy don't want you to see this. Uh, when you fast, you root out. When you praise, you pull down. When you live righteously, you destroy. When you worship a pure worship, you throw down. When you read the word of God, you build up. When you meditate on the word of God, you plant some stuff. And I'm here to tell you today that two of three of you can touch and agree on anything. Then whatever you touch and agree on, it is already done in the name of Jesus. The enemy don't want you to have no prayer partner. The enemy don't want you to have a partner in agreement because if you can get anybody to agree with you, then I'm here to tell you the power of the enemy is already broken. Somebody open your mouth and give God a praise in this house. I need you to see this because uh, this is where Matthew says to us, truly, I tell you, whatsoever you forbid, declare to be improper and unlawful in earth uh, must be what is already forbidden in heaven. And whatever you permit and declare proper uh, and lawful in the earth uh, must be what is already permitted in heaven. Again, I say to you, if two of you on earth shall agree Agree, harmonize and be in symphony with one another about anything everything he said that that you ask it shall come to pass and be done for them by my father which is in heaven I'm here to tell you today that it's already done when we come together in prayer on Monday morning when we come to in prayer on Monday evening when we come together in praying for one another praying for Pastor Parker praying for Pastor Peyton praying for past for our sister Lisa praying for those who are going through bereavement in this house when we stand together and when we pray together I'm here to tell you today that the enemy don't like it because we are a force to be reckoned with and anytime we understand what power we've got the enemy tries to work against us but I'm here to tell you today that we've got power in our tongues we've got power in our prayer we've got power in our fasting we've got power in our worship we've got power in our reading we got power in our study we've got power in our fellowship and we need to give God praise because long as we stick together the enemy is already defeated I dare you to find two or three people and tell them the enemy is already defeated You've got to break up that crow. you got to break up that buzzard. You've got to break up that thing that's causing you to focus in on the negative and start focusing in on the positive. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm going somewhere. I'm ascending somewhere. I am rising higher than I've ever risen before. I'm here to tell you today that we are boundary breakers. We are agents of change. And what God is doing right now is bringing us to a place where the kingdom is being more affected in the earth just before he comes he's going to release a power in the earth that's going to literally blow the mind of this world but I'm here to tell you today that you are that change open your mouth and say I am the change open your heart and say I am that power I want you to know that personal struggles and personal flaws personal ambitions and petty disagreements 
kids. I want you to understand that whatever the enemy is trying to do to you and trying to stop you, it won't work for no weapon formed against us shall prosper. God's going to lift up a standard against the enemy and he can't take it. I want you to understand that if you knew what the enemy thought about you, you would rise up and be force. You would rise up and be the anointing that you are. You would rise up. The Bible told Gideon, he said, go down to the camp, Gideon. And I want you to listen to what the enemy says about you. The Bible says the enemy went, that Gideon went down to the Amalekites. Uh, the children were laying in the valley like grasshoppers for multitude. Uh, and the camels were without number and by the sand of the sea. And Gideon came there to a man holding a dream to a fellow, telling a dream to a fellow. He said, behold, I dreamed a dream uh, and a cake of barley bread tumbled into the host of the Midian and came unto my tent and smote it and it fell and it turned over and the tent laid along. The fellow answered him and said, this is nothing save the sword of Gideon, uh, the son of Joash, uh, the man of Israel, for his hand God had delivered the Midianites. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, we already got the victory. Look at somebody and tell them the neighbor that God has already given us the kingdom. He's already given us the victory. And know ye not that ye have been brought to the kingdom for such a time as this. We need your prayers. We need your anointing. We need your praise. We need your worship. God has called you here for such a time as this because we are kingdom influencers. Somebody give God the praise in this house. Uh, come on son I've got to close uh, hit C sharp because it is here uh, that we understand what Jesus is saying here uh, Isaiah speaks at the same time uh, about those that understand the power of waiting on God uh, you've been waiting on God through hell and high waters uh, you've been waiting on God through tears uh, and through pain uh, through disappointments and heartbreak uh, you've been holding on to God's saying Lord when are you going to do it uh, you've been saying God when are you going to stop by uh, and you heard the text said uh, he that shall come will come and will not tarry uh, and they that wait upon the Lord uh, and you were wondering when it was going to happen uh, I'm here to tell you today that it happens today uh, it happens right now uh, everything that you needed God to do is being done right now uh, all you've got to do is receive the kingdom uh, if you can understand this uh, that they that wait upon the Lord uh, shall renew their strength uh, I want you to understand today uh, that they shall mount up with wings as eagles uh, they shall run and not be weary uh, they shall walk and not faint uh, what are you trying to say preacher uh, I'm trying to tell you that your day of strength is here uh, your day of anointing is here. Your grace that you've been waiting for is here. The power you've been praying for is here. The fellowship that you need is here. The grace that you want is here. The mercy that you speak for is in your mouth. That's why Paul said, nigh is in your mouth. Open your mouth and say, I've got everything I need. Open your mouth and say, my family is already saved. Uh, open your mouth and be declared uh, that I am anointed, uh, I am appointed uh, for such an hour as this uh, and the devil cannot stop us uh, the devil cannot defeat us uh, because we've got the blood of Jesus uh, on our sides, uh, we've got angels that attend to us uh, and the enemy cannot stop us uh, that's why the Bible says uh, ye are the salt of the earth uh, get your neighbor by the hand uh, and say neighbor uh, we are influencers uh, in the earth uh, and whatever we touch uh, it changes uh, we are agents of change uh, we are agents of influence uh, the power of God is on us uh, if you would open your mouth
uh, and let the grace of God come out. Uh, if you would open your mouth uh, and let the anointing come out. Uh, if you would open your mouth uh, and tell your testimony uh, of where God has brought you from. Uh, if you would open your mouth uh, and speak the oracles of God. Uh, talk about the praise of God. Uh, talk about the goodness of the Lord. Uh, talk about the favor of God. Uh, talk about blessings of the Lord then the enemy is already defeated don't go home and fuss with your child don't go home and fuss with your husband but go home walk in the house and give God the praise and tell your husband I've been praying for you tell your child I won't stop praying for you tell your sons the blood covers you every time you leave this house I plead the blood over your life open your mouth and tell your neighbor say neighbor I am the salt of the earth the city needs me oh yes the community needs me my church needs me I'm a prayer warrior I live holy I live right and the Bible says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man uh, availeth much uh, get your neighbor by the hand uh, and say neighbor uh, I'm travailing uh, say neighbor uh, I'm prevailing uh, say neighbor uh, nothing uh, can stop us now uh, I feel like uh, DJ Kelly uh, open your mouth uh, and say where you going uh, all the way up uh, Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, I'm going all the way up where the eagles fly. I'm going all the way up where the anointing is. Say neighbor, I'm going all the way up where the power is. I'm going where God wants me to go and the crows can't stop me. The crows can't hit to me get your neighbor by the hand and say neighbor stop letting petty distractions stop you stop letting petty distractions hinder you you're an eagle get up and soar get up and fly get up and move into the heavenlies for God has called you to the kingdom of territory take your territory man your territory be what God has called you to be stand up and give God the praise somebody open your mouth and give God praise give God glory clap those hands and praise let me tell you something the enemy don't want you to realize who you are the enemy don't want you to realize who you are as long as he can keep you distracted and fighting one another as long as he can keep you distracted and not praying with fervor as long as he can keep you distracted and you start looking at what's around you rather than looking within to see greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world see he's got us but once you start realizing I am the kingdom of God in the earth I am the kingdom of God in the earth. Uh, honey, you got Cynthia's phone number, right? Text her. Text her this picture. I want her to put it on the screen. I want you to understand, did my phone die? You can't see it because it's on my phone. It's a picture of a puzzle. It's, 
You can't see it. See, see, see how my phone just died? My phone never dies. Y'all don't get what the enemy is doing. He don't want you to get this message. Oh my God. Somebody plug my phone up. Give me two. If you can give me two cents. Give me two. What do you call it? Two, two. Just give me. See, the enemy don't want you to get it. But look at somebody telling them, we are already victorious. We are already victorious. We are already victorious. Oh my God. He's already defeated. Do you hear me? He's already defeated. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This picture right here. Thank you, Jesus. This picture right here. Tell her, put that on the screen. Listen, 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 listen. The enemy, the enemy wants you distracted to try to keep doing stuff that don't work. Oh God, I wish I could. I wish I can help you. He wants you so distracted until you keep trying to chase Willie and Willie don't want you. And so you all upset, you can't eat, you can't, you can't sleep, you can't get right because Willie won't call you back. I ain't talking about Father Willie. Leave him alone. I ain't talking about him. <laughs> he won't call you back. And so you can't eat, you can't sleep, you can't function because of him. And in the meantime, you don't see how effective you are for kingdom. So imagine this. Imagine this. If you're distracted about Wooly for one day, that's one thing. But if you're distracted about him for 10 years. Look how long you not been doing the will of God. Are you hearing me? For 10 years, you distracted. But look at somebody and tell them the devil is defeated. I want you to understand that you are victorious. And this message today changes everything. I want you to understand who you are. Stop trying to fit in where you don't fit. If any man be in Christ... He's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are what? Become new. You trying to go back to where you don't fit. You don't tell somebody next to you, you don't fit there anymore. You don't, you don't fit there anymore. You don't fit there anymore. And can I, can I digress just for a second? Just for a second? If you keep trying to go back to what and where you don't fit, God will turn your life upside down. She got it? All right, you got it? I can't see, I can't see. Is she, is she, is she telling me she got it? Listen, look, 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 look. What does that say? Don't hurt yourself to fit in where you don't belong. Can you see what the puzzle is doing? The puzzle is hurting itself, cutting its head off to try to fit into a group that he ain't even the same color. He ain't the same color. He don't fit in there anymore, but he want to belong so bad until he's willing to bleed and cut himself to try to fit into a group that don't even want him. And God is saying, 
the more you try to fit into where you don't belong, the more you're going to hurt yourself over and over and over again. He said, I have called you out. And God is saying to the little puzzle that got tears in his eyes, God is saying, I have separated you to be holy unto me. And the more you try to get back into this group where you don't belong, you're going to keep hurting yourself over and over and over. That's why the enemy didn't want me to preach this message today. Stand to your feet. I got to let you go home. Pastor, I don't even know what. Nita, you know something to sing? I don't know what to sing today. I like that, son. I like that. I will do a new thing in you. I will do a new thing in you. Whatever. Brother Tyrone, would you come? Can I pray for you before you leave, please? Come on. Come on, Pastor. Come on. I want the brethren to come. Can I get... Can I get... Son, can I, can I pray for you? Come on. Can I get some men to come? Some men to come and pray with me. Can I pray for you? Come on, son. Is he is he is he leaving? John. John, is he leaving? Yes, come on. Come on, men. Come on. I want to pray for the men today. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, brother, and I want to pray for the men today. Can we have some anointing oil, please? Anointing oil, please. Wow. While the pastors and the leaders are praying for these men, come on, Dave. Come on, come on over here. Come on, Father. Steve. Steve, come on. I need y'all to help pray. I need y'all to help pray. Yes, yes, start praying. Start praying for them. Start praying for them. Come on, come on, come on. Every, every sister, bring it down just a little bit. Every sister in here who's dealing with a broken heart, come right here. For whatever reason, the enemy is dealing with your spirit about loss, dealing with your spirit about that brother who, who abandoned you, dealing with that spirit about whatever. Come on, let me pray for you. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. We've all had a broken heart. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is your place of victory. This is your place of healing. This is your place of recovery. Come on. 
Come on, don't be ashamed. Come on, come on. And if anybody looking at you side eye, look back at them. Look back at them and say, you've been here, so don't be looking at me like that. Come on, come on, come on. That's right, come on, come on, come on. And I don't know what you got a broken heart about. It ain't got to be about a man. It can be about loss of a house, loss of business. It could be loss of a child. Come on, if you're dealing with disappointment, come on. Come on, if you're dealing with disappointment, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pastor Parker, come down here, please. I don't know. You could have lost your tuition. You could have lost... your tenure in school, your job. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever you're dealing with, lift those hands and believe God. Come on, sisters, lift your hands. Come on, come right in, come right in, come right in, come on. Mother Joni, come here, come on, come on. Mother Sadie, come here, come here, come here. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Just turn around and start praying for these folk. Come on. Come on, Mother Sadie. Come on, Mother. Come on. Y'all let her through. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Let her in. Let her in. Just start laying hands on and praying. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, lay hands, lay hands, lay hands. That's it. That's it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Janine, put that down and come and pray. Put that down and come and pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Janine, start praying from the rear. Start praying from the rear. Sister Judy, put that down and start praying from the rear. Put that down and start praying from the rear. Wherever you are, Sister Judy, from where you are, listen, listen. Sister Judy, start praying for those that are around you right there, right there, right there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, if you haven't been prayed for, stay right here until you're prayed for. Stay right here until you're prayed for. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Stay right here until you're prayed for. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever you, Sister Gail, come, come over here, honey. Come right in here. Come right in here. Pray, pray right in here. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Saith the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I will do a new thing. I will do a new Pray for these two right here. Pray for these two right here. What else? Sister Gail, sis, come here. Come, come here. Sister. Pray for these two right here. Pray for these two right here. Thank you, Jesus. 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 That's it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's it. That's it. That's it. Sister Janine, pray for this young lady right here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Mother Joni, Mother Joni, Mother Saley, come here, come, come here. Pastor Parker, I want you all three to pray for Sister Nita. Pray for Sister Nita. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Everyone standing. Everyone standing. Everyone standing. I want you to grab one person by two hands. Come on, I want you to grab one person by two hands. Everybody grab somebody by two hands. Look them in the eye and say, you're a powerful man or woman of God, whoever they are. Come on, say it again. Say, you're a powerful man, woman of God. Come on, tell them, say, everything that God has for you has your name on it. Tell them, everything that you are is being manifest right in front of you. Look them in the eye and say, nothing can stop you. Come on, tell them, say, nothing can stop you. You will manifest. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I feel that one. Say, you will manifest. Come on, tell them, your, your anointing is great. Your prayer is powerful. Your mouth speaks mercy. Your mouth speaks testimony. Your mouth speaks joy. You're great in the earth. You influence everything around you. The enemy don't want you to see it, but you're a powerful woman, man of God. Now give God the praise. Somebody open your mouth and say, give God a praise. I tell you to touch somebody and heal them. I tell you to touch somebody and heal them. I tell you to pray for somebody and deliver them. I tell you to pray for somebody and deliver them. You've been anointed to heal. You've been anointed to deliver. You've been anointed to set somebody free.
It's all right to praise us. Come on and put a praise on it. Glory! Hallelujah! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on and give God a praise for the word on today. Anybody feel more like an influencer today? I don't have to do what nobody else is doing because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I am an influencer. Hallelujah. Come on and clap your hands for our bishop and the awesome word on today. Glory to God. We thank God for the word, for the message. Somebody needed to be encouraged and reminded who they are and what you've come to do. Amen. Sometimes we get so lost in seeing what other people are doing, but God has a purpose and a plan for your life too. Hallelujah. You are an influencer, and we give God praise. Come on and clap your hands one more time. Glory to God. If by chance you want to be a blessing to the word on today, and to our bishop, we're going to ask that you would come at this time. If you have a tangible offering that you would like to give, if you'd like to give via Cash App, his Cash App is dollar sign BJRT, and you can send a love gift through his Cash App. But if you want to give at this time, we're asking you to come. Amen. Thank you for your gifts on today. Thank you for being a blessing to the man of God. Amen. And as people are coming, we just want to remind you, please remember the services for this week. I believe they say band talk is tomorrow night. Women of worship is this week. And we have some services for our bishop on this week. So if you're not otherwise engaged, please come out and join us. Amen. Amen. Thank you to everyone for your gifts on today that are coming. Thank you for your gifts. Amen. I think we have a few more people. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Father, bless these gifts that they may be a blessing to the one that shall receive them. And God, that you will continue to be glorified and lifted up. And, and those that have gi given on today, we ask that you would bless it. Return it to them, Father. And Father, we say thank you for doing it now. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If there's nothing else to claim our attention at this time, we're going to be dismissed. Amen. We pray that.